Well, we're back with Vegas Live with Nina, and thank you for all tuning in. It's amazing. It's a little rainy outside, and that's why we sort of we've got people coming in late, and everything else can't be helped. I have Zaina with me, and of course, we just saw her. She had an interview, and this is her guest, which is now my guest, is Cleo. <coughs> now, Cleo is going to be a name that you said yes. you're going to see very, very big out there, yes. and I want to find out why. Yes, why? Cleo. <laughs> what makes you Cleo that I just met? So famous. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you've got to know something. Come it's on, give me a break. It, 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 she said it was a smile. So uh, oh, it must be the smile. Yeah. Or it's the exercise you do every day, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the exercise you do. So that and you think and laugh about it. That beautiful uh, interview we had about yes. Shades of Sapphire. Yes, Shades of Sapphire. You're yeah. the producer. It's yes. the producer. So what, made, what did you come up with Shades of Sapphire? How did you get that name? Is it something that's happened in your past, or it's something you've well, actually, put, uh, put together? Uh, Shades of Sapphire is a series that the uh, writer-director Conrad Glover and I, uh, Conrad's the writer-director, um, and, and we just came together on the project. Uh, he, he's written five feature films in the past, okay. and his last feature film was, I think, like, uh, uh, 08, so it's been a while, and uh, he's just now getting back in the game. So, uh, you know, thanks to our good friends over at Maverick Entertainment. Thank you, you guys. Good, good. Um, that's our distributor. Shout out. Yeah. yeah, Doug Schwab, we really appreciate you guys, um, you know, for taking us to the market. So we do have worldwide distribution. We were able to acquire that prior to the production. So we're going to be You've already done eight series of it, right? We're it's a series. At, we're, yeah, we're actually uh, we're in episode seven. Episode seven. And uh, we're almost complete. Okay. Uh, we have one more episode, and then uh, we're going to turn it in, and then uh, we're going to move on to our next project. So our, it is going to be released worldwide, and well, what, it's going to be in the Walmarts. We Walmart, were Netflix and Target. all this is on Target. Yes, oh, really? Walmart. We're going to be in the box set in Walmart. We'll be um, all the VOD platforms like uh, Amazon Prime. and. How did you get in that? Well, yeah, I'm the producer. <laughs> I love it. He knows but, his stuff. Yeah, you know your yes. stuff. Because I often wonder how, you know, when if you're not known out there, but you keep working on yeah. it, you keep yes. working on it. Yes. And is this through friends and sort of mm -hmm. long-time relationships and keeping it all together, and then right. then eventually you get Well, I think it's a combination of both. You know, it's, it's, yes. it's, it's, it's you know, it's not just one thing. It's, it's a collective of work of people. It's a network. Yes. Um, and then putting hard work in, obviously. Of course. And then it's you know a little bit of my hidden esoteric information. I'm not going to share with anybody. That, you <laughs> You're going to keep that to yourself. Oh yeah, that's right now. Sounds like a woman now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and I was raised by myself. a lot of women. That's okay. And have a quality uh, program. Quality now, what made you? Is this all being done in Vegas? Yeah, we're. we're Why did um, you choose Vegas? Well, it's a local production. I'm. Okay. Um, we, we live here. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Joko Films, it's a local production company. We're going to produce a lot of uh, feature films, uh, series, documentaries uh, in the upcoming years. We actually have uh, some other projects that we're working on. We have a horror film that we're working on this year. We also have, these are feature films. Yes. And uh, we also have um, just a couple other projects, you know. So I don't want to talk be, about it. It's got to be, uh, you, you know, how you do your work and what you do, and the, you've got a good work going around that you actually do yeah, get performance, you actually finish to, it, yeah, and absolutely. you're actually there um, yeah, exactly. to, to, to actually do it. I've noticed that a lot of people are saying there are more and more films being made in Vegas now, yeah. and it's coming back into Vegas That's and getting very really big, in the, which I think is great because you've got every hotel here with every different scene, so you don't have to build your own set, mm -hmm. you just choose yeah. the hotel. Well, yeah, yeah, if you long as you have access to it, because yes. a lot of the producers don't, so. No, but you do. <laughs> well, I mean, we have connections to different, you know, um, yes. locations yeah. and different venues, and the production value is obviously, you know, very... Um, uh, that that's part of the project, you yes. know, making it look really wonderful and sometimes been lucky always, enough to yes. do that. And sometimes it's who you know, not what you know. Yes. We all know that. You know, yeah. that's a big play yeah, in the that, game. That's, that's but then works. you've got to put it together and make it something Absolutely. that's really... Absolutely. I mean, you know, a lot of people say, like, you know, um, you know, you're a producer and like before this before we started filming, you're talking like producer. So yes. a lot of people say, Well, what are the producers? What do they really do? And who's a real producer? And sometimes you end up getting mixed up in the mumbo jumbo and we really don't know what the producer does. Mm -hmm. And yes. it's kinda like we're magicians. We really literally 
if you have nothing and you need something, we are produce it. So it's kind of like yeah. everything. It titles the everything from the pre-production to the post-production. Yeah, you, a producer to knows the everything. Location. Yeah, he, ha he has to know everything, and, everything, and he keeps an eye on it to make sure it stays together. Absolutely. And that's yes. that could be. I know what my producer does. He does the same thing. He, but you got a everything. question there, yes. Nick? They actually want to know if you have any auditions for any future films coming up. Yes, we do have auditions. Um, we're not, we don't have any that are posted right now, but we're probably going to do auditioning. What month is this? This is January. January yes. we're going to do auditions. <laughs> Um, at the end of February or March, but if you want to just go ahead and send out some information to me, like some headshots, um, like real resumes. Um, real resumes, don't make them up. Like, yeah, because we'll throw the garbage out the window. Uh, and um, like you send it to Cleo, C L E O, at Joko Films, J O C O F I L M S dot com. It's Cleo at Joko Films. That's my email address. You can contact me there if you have any questions or you just want to submit some headshots. Great. Wonderful. Yeah, because a lot of people want to, you know, get into the industry. Um, yeah. What are the agents like ha ha in Vegas? Are they, are they, are they good or what are they? They're getting there. Um, what happens is, you know, well, I mean, they're great, but yes. the SAG has no jurisdiction in Las Vegas. Oh, so unless that. you're an a talent agent that have some kind of um, collaboration with, with the agencies oh. in Los Angeles. Oh, I see. I so didn't now know that. it's getting so they're to be, independent. They're a little more independent. So, they, but now they're starting to. Yes. Um, a few of them that I'm, I'm finding out starting to connect with agencies in Los Angeles that are SAG franchise, yes. which will make them SAG, part of the SAG franchise. So which the SAG don't really, you know, there doesn't. It's not a thing, but they do have um, access to the real breakdowns yes. and all of that, well, uh, yeah. which, you know, because most of the actors in Vegas are normally used yes. as extras or whatever. Yeah, we were just when talking about that. Yeah, and, and so now it's, it's it's getting, and with Cleo and Joko Films and Conrad Glover, they're making and paving a way for Vegas talent to uh, do great projects and, and start getting those speaking roles. And, and also, when they do that, obviously the pay, the reason the SAG, you can only, when you're a SAG member, I happen to be a SAG member, but when you're a SAG member, there's a certain films you can go into. You can't go into a non-SAG film. Yeah. And certainly, but the pay is better. You have to, you get the daily yes. payment. Yeah. And so it's, you know, and that's, that's yeah, this is a lot of different ways. I'm glad that we, we uh, Conrad uh, Glover and I, we actually met with the uh, the representative that's going to be handling mm -hmm. our uh, area. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so that's really cool. And. Yeah. They're qualified, no, they're, aren't they? The well, yeah, absolutely. Well, I say you're more qualified, you're better, but you're, yeah. you know no, that. I'm qualified. not going to say better, but you know, I think that um, it, it, it varies. If you have people that, uh, you know, and they're, they're, the working condition is yes. correct, then you do the right thing for whatever you feel is best for yourself. Absolutely. So. And I think if you put that in there, then it makes you better. Yes. Because the quality you deal in is give give you a better quality. So and that's Absolutely. how that's how it yeah. kind of goes steel around. Steel sharp and steel. Yeah, yes. there you go. But if you've got that honorability as of being in the industry, because it's a very tricky industry, the film mm -hmm. industry, because yes. it always involves it always involves millions and millions of dollars that you don't know if you're going to get back on your return. You don't know how good the film's going to be. You don't know uh, unless it's a qualified producer. Yes. But even with a qualified producer or, or a big name out there. Yes, it can fall through the cracks. Well, you know what? I think that um, now that it's the, the time is changing, bit, yeah. the platforms have changed, yeah. and the environment has changed. So yeah. it's it's yes. offered a lot of different things to the, a lot of the the smaller filmmakers. We're allowed to uh, we're we're able to go out and purchase you know uh, smaller cameras and uh, lights oh my, yeah. and yeah. Um, you smaller know just cameras with broadcast quality yeah, broadcast yes. you can't and, compare um, with any red or which any also yeah. gives like you that. a lot of competition though that gives well, us a lot of well, people like, but really i say that you know it, everybody's just making a bunch of crap it's then you can stick out you, yeah. you know you can stick out yeah, yeah. and, yeah. and until you think the, go ahead to his point, it's very true. You have to have, like, there's a lot of filmmakers that's making films that don't really, they're just making films because they feel like they think they can. They think they know really it. have, yeah, they never really their friend, they, and they grab a friend yeah, that says, so, oh, you know, you know, you look like you can act. So why don't yeah, you so, yeah, well, you make a great actor. Yeah, really. And then you have all this new technology where you can yeah. make a beautiful trailer and all this, but the, the talent and stuff doesn't always fit. But, with you all know, that, I know so that. when you have yeah. quality, technology, because yeah, technology these too. days you can truly make anything and do anything. But right. technology is good, but you still have to. I mean, you I've been, still I've been, have the I've been, yeah, I've been lucky enough to work with Conrad. And, yes, and he's really taught me a lot. You know, I mean, he, it's so much I can't even really tell you over the last yeah. two years. And um, just doing, you know, uh, working with him and doing is my own research. Is he connected to Glover? 
Um, I don't know. They may be some brothers or cousins or something. It may be, you know. know. But sometimes. Yeah. Glover, that's an unusual yeah. name. Yeah. Yes, yes, Nick. There's another question. Yeah. Do you have? Um, well, one thing on what you were saying, you got to be a good mechanic with your tools. Absolutely. But second thing is, do you have a Facebook or an Instagram page to stay updated? With uh, what you have? Yeah. I do. We do have. Uh, <laughs> we do have a face. Um, well, no, Facebook is not for Joko Films, just my personal. But we have, uh, we just started a Joko Films Instagram, so you can look at that. It's uh, Joko Films, J O C O Films, at Joko Films. Uh, my personal is, what is it, Vegas Cleo? Vegas Cleo. <laughs> Vegas Cleo. <laughs> Vegas Cleo, <laughs> here we go. Cleo. Yes. <laughs> and you can see some stills there and uh, yeah. of uh, some of our work. We have, a, if you actually go to YouTube, and you Google, uh, you type in Shades of Sapphire, you can see our teaser that yes. we just put up. And that's just like a teaser. It's really just to give you an idea and just to grab people so they can get, you know, the concept and make, we'll yes. tell the story about it in the trailer. Yes. And uh, this is just the beginning. Just so the beginning. So this is just the beginning. Yeah. So this has all come to fruition. Yes. And it's like, you know, you think about this, you, you work hard for it, mm -hmm. and you're actually getting it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, you put the work in and, you know, I, yeah, I think everything else will follow. Absolutely. And the key with this project, uh, the main thing about this project, the set Shades of Sapphire, the, the talent is outstanding. Yes. It's not just, you know, the talent is outstanding and the writing is as Conrad Glover is a phenomenal a writer. writer. Yeah. The writing is outstanding. And is it easy to the follow? Story? It's easy to follow, yeah. but it's more, when I say it's powerful. Yeah. There's nothing like powerful. it. I mean, uh, we've no been, it's, it's like kind of it. like a mixture between. Um, I don't know if you guys ever seen it, but the TV show, it's called The Wire, it used to be on HBO, and Power, so it's kind of like a mixture between the two, obviously we have the Vegas, you know, as our backdrop and our atmosphere, and then we have the lovely Miss Beautiful Zena, so Juliet as our lead, and um, like, I've been really, you know, like, fortunate to work with this woman, you have well, no she's idea. amazing, she's, she's got a, she's, 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 well, you're both well, I mean, fortunate. I mean, both. like, just the project, when you guys see it, I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be, um, Surprised and kind of like never seen anything like this in Las That's Vegas. That's amazing. So don't forget to look out for it, okay? Don't forget. And and thank you. All you actors, brush up. If you're going to audition for Shades of Sapphire or any other that'd project, be any good. project. that'd be good. Focus. Get some Focus. stage. Get some Focus. stage. Practice and get get ready because uh, they are really really picky about their cast. So you get your talent, get your, your act together. Up. No pun I'm intended. Saying this, I'm saying this out of love. Love, no, really. Like, well, I want to thank. Well, I want to thank. You know, I want to thank Cleo and I want to thank Zayda for thank coming you. on. Um, we found out a little bit more what is going on in the film industry in Vegas. Absolutely amazing. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Nino.